stay live and it's the chip. Listen, man. Blue State Championship has just crowned Moravian the inaugural champ. Combine Academy has won the second annual Hoop State Championship. Here he goes, Jaden Epps. Has five seconds. He's got to go. They send two at him. Puts one up. It is up. It's good. Jaden Epps at the buzzer. Gets the win. They run all over. And Jaden Epps has just won Combine Academy, their second straight Hoop State Championship. Jeff McGinnis, back-to-back -back champs. He's a winner. Simple as that, folks. Today is, is a new day, and we're looking towards the future uh, and the future of combine basketball and our national program. 13th ranked uh, team in the entire country is Michael Wright. Goat time. Down the lane. Oh, oh, and the spine. Oh, he's Junior. Met him at the peak of the mountain. Oh, no, no, no. In for the corner. Oh, with the putback. Meyer Wolf. I'm a fan of this Holy Rams team, bro. I believe they're underdogs, but more importantly, yeah. they don't. And word of God, win their first ever Hoop State oh, Championship. No. Oh! No! No! See a spot, let him rock. Here we go. For the win. It's good! Isaiah Washington has won Winston-Salem Christian the game. Hoop State, I need it! is up everybody and welcome into the last Hoop State game day show yeah. of the high school season here coming to you live from the Hoop State Championship here at Combine Academy and in just about an hour Winston-Salem Christian is going to take on Combine and what a weekend of basketball it has been Rod let's start off the show by recapping the two games last night we'll start off with the one of one prep Winston-Salem Christian game two very physical teams probably the two most, most physical teams in the entire Hoop State um, the very great, great game. Uh, one on one, they showed a lot of grit and a lot of moxie by staying in that game, even when when the game got in double figures, uh, kind of early in the fourth quarter. They did a good job of fighting back and cutting the lead into a two possession game late. So uh, much credit to those guys. Uh, but what's up, Christian? Man, the name of the game this week for them has just been their defensive, their length defensively. They just bothered every team they played with their length in certain terms of playing that two three zone, stretching it out, putting their hands out, covering up all those gaps. So when you, when you have a guy like Kobe George at the top, who's probably one of the best on ball defenders in the, in the region, period. Mm -hmm. and then you have a guy like Isaiah Washington with good length as well up top. They can create a lot of havoc. And then on your backside, you got you got Lewis Walker, you got Connie, you got Troy. Uh, they, those guys are just, they're just long. And then Torrey Austin as well, too. Mm -hmm. So, you know, very balanced team. I mean, great win. Uh, Lewis Walker had it going yesterday. Yeah. Um, we, I, I always say with Lewis, is if, if Winston's Helen Chris is at their best when he's, when he's providing an offense, offensive spark for them. Mm -hmm. And he did that yesterday. Yeah, the offense for Winston's Helen Christian feels like a grit and grind at times, and it's sparked by defensively. Um, mm -hmm. I want to talk about what that win means to them in a second. Quickly, mm -hmm. real quick on one of one. Mm -hmm. For them, first year in the event, what does it kind of mean for them moving forward to have the experience to win a game and really come, up, come close to getting to the championship? If they can keep this core together, which I, I believe they will because they, they're, they're year they're year round with AU as well. Yeah, this this team will win a, a hoop state championship or two in the near future. Yeah, um, they they just have the pieces. Uh, they shoot the ball really well. They play hard and they have no quit in them. Mm -hmm. um, so nothing to hang their head about. Coach Jackson, Coach McGinnis, and the rest of that staff. My guy Nick Johnson. Nothing to hang your head about this year. You guys had a great, amazing year. And like I, like, I posted today, like when they posted their, in the year of uh, post, I was like, they're the future. Yeah, so. for sure, mm -hmm. for sure. For Winston Salem Christian and Coach Lowe. Um, you know, Coach Lowe won a Hoop State Championship around three years ago on this floor. Mm -hmm. And the last two years have been tough with, between the injury mm -hmm. stuff um, and the roster continuity. Mm -hmm. it, it's, been a, it's been difficult for them to kind of mm -hmm. get to this point. But this year it all really came together. Mm -hmm. And now they have an opportunity to play for another for a Hoop State Championship. Would be the first in the program's history mm -hmm. and the second for Coach Lowe. Right. So, I mean, what, what's, one thing about Coach Antoniolo that we know is He's always going to be prepared to have his guys play, whether he has uh, the team like he has now or if he has teams like in years past. So that's just a credit to just the, the stability he, he's brought within the West Southern Christian program, not only that program, but what he did with Moravian as well too. So, um, you know, just be, being able to see a guy like Coach Lowe in a, another championship game, it, it's it's good for us. To, it's good for the Hoop State because, you know, in the grand scheme of things, he's probably not the one that everybody thinks of when you think of a high-profile coach in the Hoop State. But he consistently, year in and year out, he gets it done. So. Mm -hmm. Um, it's it's a, a, exciting to see them here and to see if they can cap off a special year. 
Definitely, and uh, they have they have a real chance today. That defense is, is suffocating, mm -hmm. and if they're able to kind of grit and grind it out offensively and find a way, mm -hmm. um, they could very easily get this done against Combine Academy, who knocked off Word of God in a mm -hmm. very, very intense affair last night. It was a close game. Word of God had the lead early, and then Combine found a way to escape it late, mm -hmm. make some plays down the stretch. Trenton Flowers probably had his best game that I've seen him play in a Combine jersey. Um, give me your breakdown for that one. Man, when you commit to a college and, and you get that pressure off of you, mm -hmm. you just feel free and you feel like I can just go be myself again. Mm -hmm. and, and you probably can tell with Trent, you know, that's, this is a big decision. He's a five-star prospect. He's been a high-profile kid for a, for long, a long time. time. And it, exactly. So for him, you know, that was a big decision. So, and you saw last night that he just, he was locked in. He was, he was free. He was playing. He was happy. He was good. And, that was that was five star top ten top fifteen recruit trading flowers we saw in front of his future uh, coaches Nolan Smith and Kenny Payne were here as well too so mm -hmm. amazing performance but you know for combine man that was that, that that was a good win you know Silas wasn't one hundred percent and you could see and it kind it kind of affected his performance mm -hmm. um, one thing I'll say you know in terms of a word of God uh, first of all nothing to hang your head about you guys had you know, a great year you had a great run at OTE you've done a lot of amazing things. You know, last night, I think, you know, I think emotions kind of got the best of them, you know, in terms of in the game, you know, with the, with the official, officiating, things like that. Mm -hmm. You know, um, well, I would think that I always say about Word of God is when, when the ball is, is is hot and it's popping with Word of God, they're hard to beat. In that first quarter, they really took it to combine because of the ball was moving and things of that nature. They kind of got away from that a little bit. And then, you know, in the second half, combine, they do a good job defensively of kind of well, pushing up on the shooters a little, making making life tougher for Isaiah Coleman and, and, and Dre as well too. So yeah, uh, for, for sure. Yeah. Um, and kind of speak into the bigger picture for Word of God's here before we touch on the bigger picture on Combine side. Mm -hmm. It felt like the program returned to a state of relevance that we haven't seen in a while. Mm -hmm. How do you think they can build on that moving forward in years to come? Oh, absolutely. And, and for me, you know, I, I've been a part of Word of God's program. You know, I was kind of sorted, but yeah. you know, to see it, you know, back in in terms of that in that relevancy, I, I think it's a good thing. Uh, Coach, Coach Byron, when he's doing those guys. At, Alex and D-Pad as well too. They're doing a, they did a great job with those guys this year. So it's gonna be interesting to see. They they lose a lot. They do. They lose a whole lot. Mm -hmm. But you know, they no have one, a couple pieces coming back that are yeah. really good. But yeah. they do lose yeah, they a lot. They lose a lot. So it's gonna be interesting to see how they replace those guys. I mean, you replace it. You replace it nationally ranked kids. You know, mm -hmm. so that, that's gonna be a whole lot. It's gonna be interesting to see. But you know, being that they're in the OTE league and things like that, I can only imagine they'll have a few yeah. four or five stars floating around Rock Quarry Road. <laughs> yeah, for sure. They, they always find their way there. Somehow. Absolutely. And, and for Combine and for Coach Wright, you have an opportunity to play now for coach Wright in his third straight hoop state championship and now he's at the at combine now after leaving liberty heights um to where he can get his first and this team can get their first um they've had guys come up close in this and now they have an opportunity to do it what would it mean for combine to get this done and, and go for the three beat you know for combine you know i think championships are the, the standard here so for the for in in, in terms of the, the program combine academy in itself yeah that's the standard they expect to win but for mike Wright. This is the one that he's always want. And I, you know, I have a lot of conversations with Mike, you know, all the time. And one thing he always talks about is, I gotta get a hoop state championship. To, to Mike, it feels like a sense of validation for him if he can get that hoop state championship. Mm -hmm. So Combine's in a really good place. They're 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 a nationally ranked team. I think the, the challenge this year for Mike Wright was, you know, losing a great coach like Jeff McGinnis is a lot. Mm -hmm. And you have to be able to find somebody that can not only keep the program where they were, but also elevate the program to another level. Stay that meeting. It is time as we welcome you in to Combine Academy as the Hoop State Championship just moments away from getting started. David Katzenmeyer and Miles Masercola joining you here from Lincoln to North Carolina as it's a rematch from the John Wall Holiday Invitational. Both these two teams fighting. 32 minutes separating them and a possible Hoop State Championship. Can Combine go back to back to back? Or can Antonio Lowe get his first ring with Winston-Salem Christian? This is gonna be a fun one, folks. Two of the best teams we have loaded with nationally ranked players. Combine starts with the basketball. Into Dalio, he dribbles right hand off the glass. It's a strong finish. Olsen. Gives it to Kenny to Chanda. He'll go to work against Campbell to Chanda. He'll win the battle. What a move 
from Chanda. Nationally ranked kid coming on strong late. Here we go. Rakis pass more speed off the baseline. And Rakis another layup off the window. Giving it up on the right wing to Trenton Flowers. Committed to Louisville yesterday and reclassed. He is now a senior playing in his last game for Combine. Here's a three off the left wing. Silas Demery Jr. points to the sky for a splashdown. As he's been a sharp shooter for them so far this tournament. Another three is taken from Kobe George, the putback from Torrey Austin. And, Co and Coach Lowe just said, Kobe, we don't need you to settle. We need you to attack. Big time put back there from Combine. Like shoot him out of it. it. Looks like they are. Trenton Flowers, another three. It'll force a timeout. Threes are raining down for Combine on the right side of the court, 4-11, and they're up by seven. And we haven't even seen Colin Tanner come into the game yet. I'm sure we'll see him shortly. He's been a zone buster all weekend long, and also Flowers shooting with a ton of confidence this weekend. He's been playing his best basketball of the season in this event. Flowers hits that one off the side of the rim. Nice move by Washington. Isaiah Washington carving through the paint. Which the Salem Christian will take him any way that they come. It was a beautiful one from Washington. On the other end, Colin Tanner carving up the Winston Salem Christian defense there from the base. Dave, he will stay over on Rakis. They tried to get him in a trap with Tory Alston. Here's a shot from Colin Tanner just inside the right wing. He's got such great touch at that elbow area, able to get to the middle of the floor and make things happen. To go into the paint with Tory Alston and Alston up over Trenton Flowers. 16 to 11 after the first. We'll send it to Simmons for the first quarter breakdown. Report live. Great energy from the start. I think this combine did a good job of hitting perimeter shots early. Um, that's something they've been doing at home. They've been doing a good job shooting pretty much um, this whole week, um, having four double-figure scores. West Salem Christian, Isaiah Washington, Tori Austin, starting to pick it up. Um, Lewis Walker has been quiet, but at the end of the day, like once again, combine West Salem Christian. This is a rematch um, from an upset in the John Wall when West Salem Christian won the game. I think the second quarter is going to um, dictate. Take, you know a lot to have um, dictate a lot with the game because you got Salas Demery with one foul. If somebody gets two fouls here, they have to sit down. That could turn the tide for either team. The energy's electric in here. It's Hoop State Simmons, Miles, Dave. What do you got? To Chanda from the middle of the paint, Kenny to Chanda, perfect. We're seeing Connie to Chanda turn potential into production. Now to Washington, back Ooh. to TJ Cave. Had a man fall down. Lewis Walker, a contested bucket, up and good. Way through the second quarter, Rakeese Passmore. Drives up and in. Demery Jr. hits the brakes just inside the charity stripe and strikes. Flowers, foot on the line, deep two, he got it. That is a big shot. Now back to Isaiah Washington. There's the triple Winston Salem Christians have been looking for. It's a Rakees Passmore, triple and a Rakees Passmore splashdown. 15 seconds on the shot clock. Washington, he's got a three from the wow. corner and he's heating up from beyond the perimeter. What? Ball movement, what zone offense from Coach Lowe and the team. If it's a defender, Kendall Campbell underneath the goal. Four seconds. George elects to drive. Now he'll step back along two. It won't go with the horn. Combine Academy leads it 32 to 26 as we head into halftime. 16 minutes separating one of these two from a Hoop State Championship. We'll Middle be back. of the paint shot for Tachanda, the turn and shoot. He's and got he's got two. Holston squeezing one in. To Chanda again, he can't find it, but the second chance effort is up and good. Demery Jr. switches back to the left, finding a Kendall Campbell underneath, and Campbell converts from the edge of the paint. No press in the backcourt just yet. Here's a steal. To Chanda back down the other way. Can he? To Chanda softly finishes off the he window. He is putting together an impressive performance at both. Into Trenton Flowers, and what a way to find that one on the bottom of the net. Able to get it up to Rakees Passmore. He looks for help and bounces one to Kendall Campbell. Puts it on the name on the back of the jersey and brings it down. His situation, Isaiah Washington, a big time put back from Torrey Alston. He cleans up the mess. Spins on the pivot foot. It gets separation. Colin Tanner, big time points off the bench. So Alston, 10 seconds. Lewis Walker's going to go here, try to get one. Walker. Finds a wide open to Chanda, wow. and he is rolling in the second. Open shot for Patino, and that's why you bring him in. What a finish from Demery Jr. with the offhand, the mid-air adjustment. Kicks out to Patino. It's a deep two. Mm. Felipe Patino's got something cooking. Again, a kick. It's Colin Tanner just inside the corner, and Colin Tanner converts. 46-44. We'll throw it to Simmons as he'll give you the third quarter breakdown. Wow, 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 wow. I don't think we can have a better championship game right now. 
going into the fourth quarter. Winston-Salem Christian came, uh, is up two. And I think they made the adjustments coming out of halftime. I think what you got to look at is Big Connie. He's been able to, to start down low, started with baby hooks, stepped out to the three-point line, hit a big three. But his energy and effort, like Coach Lowe, has just been riding with his front line. He has the best front line in independent basketball in North Carolina, and they've been playing like it. But combine at home, energy and effort, Colin Tanner, Trenton Flowers, Rakeem Passmore, and Silas Denver Jr. making big plays. It's the fourth quarter. It's a two-point game. I think we can ask for a better set in the state championship game. You know these kids are going to leave it on the floor. It's an exciting game. It's anybody's game. It's anybody's chance to win. We're going to see. Fourth quarter coming up. Hoop State Championship live from Combine Academy. Switches on him. Flowers through the paint. Up with the left hand. Smack the glass wall. You're at it. Put it in for two. Fourth. Now it's a left wing three. Colin Tanner finds yourself a triple. Demery Jr. underneath to Kendall Campbell, touching the ball with the number four on the back of his jersey. Torrey Austin and Austin off the window. Nice catch and finish on the run from Torrey Austin. One point game. Austin. Trenton Flowers down to the baseline, works back towards the cup, the right-handed finish, and a big man bucket for the Louisville commit, showing the emotion. Flowers dribbling with the right, kicking into the corner. Colin Tanner, a hand wow. of Felipe Patino in his face. It does not matter. The triple doubles the lead for Combine, 57-51. A six-point advantage to the Goats. How fitting for Colin Tanner to make a play. Six for six from the Henry floor. Jr. George in his face, working around Colin Tanner, the left wing wow. three. Colin Tanner, have yourself a tournament. Washington to Lewis Walker. Horses. We'll see how it goes. George in for Patino. Oh, the play a big time. Colin Tanner blocked the second chance, won't go. The tip in misses. Inbounds to Alston. Alston gets it. 3.8. Three point game. Silas Demery Jr. makes it. He puts Four. it on ice. Four do not lead. Guard. Do not foul. They're going to heave one up at the horn. Washington just puts it up, and that's going to do it. It's a three-peat for the Goats of Combine Academy. They are your 2023 Hoop State champions. They defend the home court, and the number two seed gets the victory as the fans, they'll mob the court. What a season for the Goats full of ups and downs, and the court is flooded. What a scene here on the farm. They found a way to three-peat. Mike Wright gets his first Hoop State Championship. What a game it was, and man, oh man. We'll get ready for the grocery presentation. We appreciate you guys tuning in.